The Pilatus PC-21, a turboprop-powered advanced trainer crafted by Pilatus Aircraft of Switzerland, stands as a cornerstone of the Royal Australian Air Force's aviation training framework. With its sleek design, featuring a stepped tandem cockpit and bird strike resistant glass canopy, the PC-21 emerged from a development process that began in January 1999, culminating in its first flight on July 1, 2002, and subsequent rollout in April 2008. For Australia, this aircraft represents a leap forward in pilot training, seamlessly integrating cutting-edge technology with operational versatility. Since its adoption, the PC-21 has redefined how the Australian Defence Force prepares its aviators, aligning with modern warfare doctrines while offering a cost-effective alternative to jet trainers. Australia's journey with the PC-21 began in September 2015 when the Australian Air Force ordered 49 aircraft under the Project Air 5428, a transformative initiative to overhaul pilot training across the ADF encompassing the Army, Navy and Air Force. Signed in December 2015 with Team 21, a consortium of Lockheed Martin, Pilatus and Hawker Pacific, the contract included 42 aircraft for training, three for the Aircraft Research and Development Unit and four forward air control variants for Number 4 Squadron, alongside seven flight training devices and extensive support systems. This $1.2 billion deal aimed to replace the aging PC-9A and CT-4B fleets with a single platform capable of spanning basic to advanced training. Deliveries kicked off with the first aircraft, A54001, handed over in June 2017 at Base East Sail, Victoria, following its initial test flight in Switzerland in July 2016. By August 2017, 10 aircraft were in service and the full complement of 49 was completed in December 2019, with the final aircraft arriving at East Sail, marking the end of a swift and efficient rollout. The PC-21 fleet is strategically deployed across Australia to maximise its training potential. Australian Air Force Base East Sail serves as the primary hub, hosting number one flying training school for initial pilot instruction and the roulettes, the aerobatic team, which transitioned from the PC-9A to showcase the aircraft's agility during events like the RAF's 100th anniversary flyover in 2021. Australian Air Force Base Pierce in Western Australia houses number two flying training school, focusing on advanced training, while three aircraft support ARDU's testing efforts at Base Edinburgh and four bolster number four squadrons joint terminal attack controller training at Base Williamtown. Beyond Australia, the PC-21 has seen temporary deployments, such as a 2022 mission to New Zealand for JTAC support, highlighting its adaptability. This distribution ensures the aircraft meets diverse operational needs, from foundational skills to specialised roles. Operationally, the PC-21's history with the Australian Air Force reflects a smooth integration into the ADF's training ecosystem. The first Australian pilots began conversion training in Switzerland in 2017, forming a transition team tasked with developing a new curriculum and optimising the simulators acquired under AR-5428. By July 2019, 10 pilots completed their initial phase at East Sail, advancing to Pierce for further training, a testament to the aircraft's ability to accelerate pilot readiness. Recent operations underscore its versatility. In 2021, the roulettes dazzled crowds with smoke-equipped PC-21s, while No. 4 Squadron's variants supported ground forces, though plans under Project Air 616 aim to replace these with a more advanced platform featuring capabilities like Link 16. The aircraft's 1600 horsepower Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A 68B engine and fighter-like performance sustaining speeds over 320 knots and roll rates exceeding 200 degrees per second, enable it to mimic jet dynamics, preparing pilots for platforms like the F-35A Lightning II. In Australia's modern warfare doctrine, the PC-21 plays a pivotal role by streamlining training and enhancing readiness for a high-tech battle space. 
Its glass cockpit, zero-zero ejection seats and hands-on throttle and stick system replicate the environment of frontline fighters, bridging the gap between elementary trainers and jets without the prohibitive costs of jet-based programs. This aligns with Australia's focus on agility, cost efficiency and interoperability within the ADF and with allies. The aircraft's potential for light armament, up to 1,150 kilograms across four underwing hardpoints, hints at a counterinsurgency role, though it remains unarmed in Australian service, prioritising training over combat. Its simulators and synthetic trainers further embed it in a doctrine emphasising simulation-driven preparedness, reducing live flight hours while maintaining skill levels. Comparing the PC-21 to its regional peers reveals Australia's strategic edge. Singapore, with 19 PC-21s based at Pierce alongside the Royal Australian Air Force's fleet, uses the aircraft similarly for training, benefiting from shared facilities but operating on a smaller scale suited to its compact air force. Saudi Arabia's 55 aircraft and Qatar's 24 reflect larger ambitions, with both nations integrating the PC-21 into expansive training programs and exploring its light strike potential, bolstered by their oil-driven budgets. The United Arab Emirates, with 25 PC-21s replacing PC-7s, maintains continuity with Pilatus designs, focusing on pilot development for a growing air force. Switzerland, the PC-21's home nation, operates a modest fleet of eight, tailored to its smaller, precision-focused military. Australia's 49 aircraft fleet, one of the largest globally, positions it as a regional heavyweight, rivaling Saudi Arabia's scale, but prioritising training over combat roles. Against alternatives like New Zealand's T-6 Texan II, which lacks the PC-21's jet-like performance, or the Super Tucano, better suited for light attack than advanced training, the PC-21's superior avionics, speed, 685 km per hour maximum and manoeuvrability shine through, validating Australia's choice. The PC-21's technical prowess is rooted in its design. The tandem cockpit, equipped with head-up displays and an inertial reference system integrated with GPS, mimics modern fighters, while its retractable tricycle landing gear and composite construction enhance durability and performance. Maintenance ease, a Pilatus hallmark, ensures high availability, critical for a training fleet logging extensive hours. This technical foundation underpins its operational success and adaptability. Since its introduction, the PC-21 has woven itself into Australia's aviation fabric. The roulette's adoption marked a symbolic handover from the PC-9A, retired in 2019 after 32 years, reflecting Pilatus' enduring partnership with the RAF since 1987. Community engagement, such as open days at East Sale, has bolstered public support, while the aircraft's reliability, over 200 units built globally since 2002, assures longevity. As regional dynamics shift with tensions in the Indo-Pacific rising, the PC-21 ensures Australia's pilots are ready for platforms like the MQ-9B Sky Guardian or future sixth-generation fighters, reinforcing deterrence and alliance commitments. In conclusion, the PC-21 is a triumph of innovation and strategy for Australia. Its journey, from a 2015 contract to a fully operational fleet by 2019, demonstrates meticulous planning and execution. Enriching training, enhancing readiness and offering unmatched value, it stands as the world's premier trainer, tailored to Australia's needs. As a bridge between basic instruction and combat aviation, it not only prepares pilots, but also fortifies the ADF's strategic posture, making it an indispensable asset in Australia's defence arsenal. <laughs>